Hi guys, today I am going out to demonstrate how to create SMS application. So for this application I have to coffee shop feedback through the SMS. So be before create the application I have to download the sample apps and the libraries. So you can download it through the devspace.sendmobile.com Downloading the Java, Java application. So once I downloaded, you can see my library is there and the similarity is there. So after downloading, I'm going to create the application. For create the application, I'm using Eclipse as ID development tool. Now I have already created the application here. So I will explain step by step how I have created this application. So click on file and create new project, dynamic web project. So once you click on that one, you have to provide the project name. So once you provide the name, you can click on finish and create it. So after create the application, you can have to create you have to import the libraries. So for that one, you have to click right click the project and properties go to the Java build path and library and add external, external jars to the library. So you can select all the three libraries and you can import it. So once you import the Java files, you can create the application. So in tap, when the customer send the message, tap receive the message and send it to us. So for that one, our application need to receive the message. For that we have to create a listener class. So for this application, I have created a new class called Feedback Listener. It's implementing a more SMS listener. It's provided by the API. So once you implemented, you have to override two methods, init and the on received SMS. Now, so when customers send the message to us, this on receive SMS method automatically triggers. It's contain a parameter called MO SMS request. So you can see in the request in the object there are my many attributes are there. Now I can show you what are the attributes in the object. So you can see application ID is there, delivery status report is there, get encoding, get message, the message the subscribers uh, subscriber or customer sending to the application the source address, the source address of the customer and the version. So for the moment for this application I need only the feedback that means message and the source address. So I am getting those values and I am adding into a map. For the moment I am using a map to save the data. Here you can use a database connection and you can save the data into the database. So for their feedback service I have a map a subscriber ID and a message and there's add feedback method and get feedback method. So here I'm using add feedback method to add the feedback. So once I add the feedback I have to send a response to customer. For that one I'm creating a new method called send response. Here you can see I have passed the parameter MO SMS request as a parameter to the method. So now I'm going to create a new object called empty SMS request. This is when we are sending a message from the application to mobile it's called empty. So empty SMS request. So we are sending a mobile terminated request to the tab. For the object there are certain parameters are mandatory. For example, destination address, the customer mobile number. We can get it from the request. We have to set the message. Currently I am setting, thank you for your feedback, hope to see you again. And the other thing is application ID and the password. These, you, these, two, these two values you will get from the telcos when your application is deploying with telco. So once your no object is empty, SMS request is, request is created, you have to create a send object to send the message. 
for that one I am using the library and using the dev space library getting the method creating object called SMS request sender. For that request we have to pass the URL. The URL means the message where we have to send. For the moment I am using the simulator so that I am passing the simulator URL. When we are using a new URL we have to catch a exception malformed URL exception so I have catched that one and I have printed that also. So after creating the object I am going to send the message. So when I am sending the message I will receive a response. So I have print the so I am printing the response here. So now application message receiving and sending is done. Now this is a web application so we have to define the we have to pass the server to the web XML to receive the messages to particular web feedback listener class. So for that one I am using, using the default listener they have provided to us div space provided to us and I am passing the feedback listener. Now I am giving a server pattern to receive that messages. Once this one done, now coffee shop owner needs to view the feedbacks. For that one, I have created a simple JSP and I have printed all the feedbacks which our customer sending to the app. So here customer num subscriber number means customer number, message. So here I am getting the data from the same map which I have already and I have printed printing the values into the table. Now what I am going to do is I am going to deploy the application into a Tomcat. So I am using the same Eclipse Tomcat I have configured so I can deploy the application here. So once the application is deploying you can see the console and you can see the view also. So now currently there is no feedbacks, so table is empty. So this is the view of the coffee shop owner. Now I am going to test the application with simulator. So far I have already downloaded the simulator. So now I am going to start up the simulator in console. SDP. So now I am in Windows, so I am using the bat file. So when you type on SDP, SDP simulator.bat console, it will start up the simulator. So now you can see simulator is starting up on port 1001. So one app simulator is up and running. I'm going to open up the simulator in browser. So now you can see simulator is simulator is up and running. Here the URL we have to provide to the simulator. So same URL we are going to provide with the telco because when the message received to the tab, they will send the message to us. So the same URL. After you are hosting the application, you can send the real URL to the telco. So for the moment, I am I have up the simulator. I have up the application in local. So so I am providing the so now I am providing the simulator URL. and I have I have given a URL for that particular listener URL pattern for the I have given particular URL I have given a URL pattern for particular feedback listener so 
I have provided the URL for that one and I am giving the application ID and the password, the mobile custom mobile number. Now I am going to send the message. Each application will get unique short code and a keyword. So now assume this application have a short code called coffee. Keyword assume this application have a keyword called coffee. So I'm sending a excellent. Here you can see application sent to the message in here you can see message sent to the application and application responding to the mobile. Thank you for your feedback. Hope to see you again. This is the message I have implemented in code. Yeah. So, likewise, customers can send the messages to coffee shop owner. So now I'm going to change the simulator ID, mobile customer number, and I'm sending. Not good. Same wise, I can send messages to different with different different numbers to the coffee shop owner. So now you can see coffee shop owner can view the. I can show you all. So this is the. Here you can see every customer has sent the feedback to the coffee shop owner. So according to these data, coffee shop owner can improve their business. So simple application will help small, small coffee shop to improve their business. You can even you can download the sample application in JIT. We will provide the code link in the space. And if you have any questions, you can send, a, send us through Facebook group or you can send it through DevSpace contact us page. Thank you.